What's going on guys? Alex with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do kind of like an overview slash four view of this Tinker Force tray that they sent me. Um, so that you guys can try not to drop everything, but you guys can see right here. Um, I have the large um, opening down here. This has three sp spots up here. So you can take these out and you can put different types of uh, modular pieces in here. But this is made from black um, 3D printed material. I forget what the material is called. But it's black 3D printed material with like cork board, cork board, excuse me, um, inserted in here. And then they sent me, uh, I'll go over each piece, but Tinker Force is a really cool company, um, USA made. I think they're out of Virginia somewhere. And they've sent me this probably, oh, like two and a half, three months ago, somewhere in there. Maybe not that long. I could be completely off, off the, uh, the mark there, but it feels like I've had it for at least two months. Um, Kevin left EDC was the first one who kind of, you know, found them. Uh, actually, I think they reached out to him first, so they found him, but he was in contact with them. He got some stuff sent, sent over, uh, and he kind of raved about it. He said that it was really good stuff for the price and, you know, USA made, uh, I think they're making it out of their garage or basement or something like that. So after a while I was like, screw it. I'm going to reach out to him. So I shot him a message, blah, 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 blah. shot him a message on Instagram and uh you know like the next day they got back to me and uh, they agreed to send me something so i got to pick the uh, filament and that's what's called uh, that you put in the 3d printer it's filament so i got to pick the filament color the color that i probably would have went with was the um like olive green matte green but they were sold out of that so i went with uh went with black because i figured black's classy it's simple um, it goes with everything so they sent it to me at, or they also asked me um, you know, what type of pieces they want, uh, or what type of pieces I wanted them to send me to complete, you know, the tray and stuff like that. So I picked out the three and like a week later, showed up to my college apartment and I've been using it ever since on my desk. I, I really have loved this product from a desk organizational standpoint and having some of my, um, my bits and my driver and my KPL very easily accessible and very handy whenever I, um, you know, if I just have to tighten something or if I'm doing um, a little bit of knife maintenance, it's easy. I don't have to get in my little like zip uh, pouch where I keep everything else in and stuff like that. So I have really, really enjoyed it that way. Um, like I said, it's set on my desk for the last however long I've had it. And it's a great piece for it. I really have, you know, grown to like it and it's a fantastic product. So, um, but the first piece that I have in here is like this just, um, I believe this on the website is called like the small bits um organizational piece or something like that but i have this so in case i am doing a um, disassembly i can put you know pivots body screws uh, clip screws washers stuff like that in there um just handy easy um, i think i've had some money sitting here before i have like some quarters dimes pennies stuff like that nickels um, but this probably gets used the least because i'm not taking apart knives 24 7. So this is just kind of an open space for me to set different things. Like I said, change, um, other small items, I can set that in here. Um, my second piece that I have here is really, really cool. So it has um, the rows for bits down here. So it holds what, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 bits. So I have like T, I think like T4 through T15 or something. I don't, I need to get a new batch of T6 and T8. Because uh, those are the primarily the two uh, primarily the two you know same bits that I've used, and that's what's pretty popular in knives nowadays. Maybe a T10. Uh, and then up here I have my CRKT driver. It just pops down in here on a little like hex piece. It just sits there. It wobbles a little bit, so you do have to be careful when you're moving it around. Um, but for the most part, <coughs> excuse me, it's it's good good to go. Um, and then here I have my KPL. Just pops right down in there. And I just really like having this out because, like I said, I used to keep my driver, my KPL in, um, I said, actually right here, but my uh, vault case that I have a bunch of stickers on, stuff like this, I keep the rest of my bit drivers and my like knife shield, um, my Loctite in there, just because it keeps it, you know, contained and stuff like that. But sometimes it'd be a pain in the butt if I just had to tighten down like a body screw or a clip screw or something like that. I have to reach through it, um, you know find all the stuff and more, you know, now I just sit it on my desk, take my driver, find the bit I need, pop it in and do it. And I'm good to go. So 
I really like how that has just kind of simplified it and organized it at the same time. And um, that's a really great, uh, I, I still forget. I mean, it's it's a modular piece. We're just, I'm going to call it that. But this has to be one of the probably best selling ones because of, um, you know, all the bits and everything that, you know, knife guys go through. So really love that one as well. And last but not least, I have, I think I just asked for just this open cup. I don't know what the technical product or the technical name is on the website. Um, but I have been sitting my pens in it. I have, um, it's not on me right now, but I had a, I have like a USB to MacBook adapter that I have sitting in here. Um, so I really like this too, because instead of having, you know, pens just sitting on my desk randomly, um, it keeps them contained in here. Um, very easy to find markers, pens, um, you know, different things that I stick in there. I had a pencil in there. Um, just very easy to, like I said, organize it and maintain it um, all in one. And, you know, you can never, because a lot of different people, you know, that have desks and, you know, stuff like that. They use mugs, they use, you know, uh, cups, different things to put their pens in. So I thought that this was just a really simple but really useful um, piece for the um, the uh, uh, tray. Sorry, excuse me, I had a brain fart there. Uh, so I asked them to toss that in for me for the uh, third modular piece. But I just, uh, you know, have really, really enjoyed it. I've really, I've used it a lot for the main part here, the main section. I'll take it out and show you what it looks like without everything. But... I mean, it's just this thin piece of plastic. They do have some rubber on the end here, which is really nice for desktops. Um, it keeps it from sliding around, but you just have this big open piece and then you have this th three uh, modular pieces up there. Um, it's a pretty big size. They have a smaller one, which is just two. They have this one, which is the medium, and then they have a larger one with um, a fourth one on here. And I thought that that, I, I didn't need a size that big. Um, I think Kevin has a fourth or the, the largest one but um, I thought the medium was a good size for me and for what I would need to do with it. But um, I've done, you know, some knife disassemblies on here, but if I'm being honest, the most that I use this for is I set my wallet on it. I keep, um, you know, I have my uh, tactile turn or tactile knife co bear on it, uh, my pry bar, and then another knife that randomly just ends up on my desk, usually a loner or a, uh, you know, something that I have in. So I just, the biggest part for me and the biggest Thing that I can really preach about this is I just have really appreciated the the organizational you know um, ease of it. It's just it's simple. It's it's you know it looks good on the desk in my opinion. I think the black because I have a black TV. Um, my desk legs are black and my uh, desktop is like wood. So it just it blends in very well. Uh, it looks good on the desk. It looks good you know on a nightstand on you know, uh, a countertop, if you wanted to put it there, there's just a lot of different uses for it. And I think that they really have a great product over there. Uh, this, even though they sent this to me, I think everything here was like a total of like $35, which is pretty incredible considering that you're getting, you know, the tray and then three pieces of, um, accessories to use it or to use with it. So uh, I will leave a link to the website down below. Please go check them out. Uh, they just, you know, they're very good people over there. They're very nice. I forget the name of the person that I communicate, communicated with, excuse me. Um, but they just, I've really, really enjoyed it. And I will continue to, you know, have nothing but good things to say about it and to push people towards, you know, because there's some mats out there that are relatively expensive. And I think that this is a great way, you know, not only to get into the, you know, the mat world and the tray world to try to see if you like it, but I think it's a great competitor directly to some of those trays that are, you know, two, three, four, maybe five times their price. So, you know, I just, it's fantastic work. Uh, you can't even really tell it's 3D printed. You you think it's just plastic. I mean, it is plastic, but you think it's, what like, until you feel it and you, you know, feel the quality of it, it feels much more durable and much more, you know, sturdy than what you think would come out of a printer. And I know that 3D printing has really expanded upon my knowledge and has gotten really in-depth, which is really cool to see. So, um, but again, I will leave a link to Tinker Force's website down below. Guys, please go check them out if you're in the market for one of these. Uh, you know, fantastic work, fantastic craftsmanship. The cork board in here is very well done. It, you know, it's 
it's very high quality and i just i had nothing but good things to say about it so yeah that's that's pretty much it i just wanted to go you know this was one video that i haven't done yet uh, and i'm trying to bust out some videos because i'm leaving um, in a couple days for the beach so i'm trying to get some videos knocked out for the rest of this week and then have some ready to go for the uh, week that i'm down at the beach but this was one that i was you know i was trying to look around thinking okay you know what knives do i have to do um, is there anything else I can do? And I looked at this, I was like, oh, I haven't done my review slash overview of my Tinker Force tray. So I thought that'd be a good time to do it. But uh, yeah, again, description or uh, link in the description down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you and hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.